T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Mission and liftoff. Godspeed, Endeavour and Crew 2. Copy, 1 Alpha. Endeavour launches once again. Four astronauts from three countries on Crew 2, now making their way to the one and only International Space Station. Vehicle is pitching down range. Nine Merlin engines on the first stage providing 1.7 million pounds of thrust. Hearing good calls on first stage performance so far. We are T plus 30 seconds into the second rotational crew mission on board Dragon and Falcon 9. Falcon 9 will be throttling down the nine Merlin engines shortly here in preparation for in preparation for maximum dynamic pressure. And there's that call out for the throttle down. Maximum dynamic pressure max Q is the largest structural load that the vehicle sees throughout ascent. So throttling down does help us pass. Throttling down helps us pass through this period, which should be coming here shortly. Q. There's our call out that we have just passed through max Q. Stage one throttle up. And one we can Bravo. Now... Copy, one Bravo. All right, one Bravo is the second abort mode on the first stage. The first stage continues to fire for two minutes, 35 seconds. One and a half minutes into today's flight. Falcon 9 now traveling at more than 1,500 miles an hour. MVAC engine chill has started. All right, the engine chill for the second stage single Merlin engine has started. About 30 more seconds of the first stage firing to bring our four astronauts into orbit. Now from here coming up in about 20 some seconds, we're going to have three major milestones. We'll have shutdown of the nine Merlin engines. We're beginning to throttle them down. We will then get stage, stage separation. One, throttle down. And then we will get ignition of the second stage engine to propel Dragon and the Falcon 9 second stage into orbit. Hey, Alpha. Copy two alpha. Acquisition confirmed. Acquisition signal one. In the acquisition. And we have ignition of the second stage. You see the green flash of that T Teb fluid. The ex extent expansion nozzle on the second stage Merlin vacuum glowing that bright red that we like to see. Good performance on the second stage so far. And on the left side of your screen, we saw the uh, exhaust of the second stage engine streaming past the first stage as the grid fins are coming out. We also briefly had a view of the lights of Central Florida in the background. Currently, the first stage is continuing to coast up to Apogee. It's unpowered. It'll reach a peak height and then begin to descend back down toward the Earth's atmosphere where it will light three engines to slow down in preparation for what will be a landing burn on the drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. You can see the grid fins are deployed. Right now, the first stage Dragon pulsing. SpaceX, trajectory nominal. We're pulsing the thrusters. Signal of Bermuda. Copy, nominal trajectory. And we hear a call out from the crew, nominal trajectory. So we're beginning to move the first stage into position so it can do the entry burn. Four minutes, 15 seconds into today's flight. Second stage propelling our four astronauts up the eastern seaboard. We'll continue to fire. It's a six minute burn to deliver the astronauts into orbit. We'll wait for a cue for a good orbital insertion after that. Meanwhile, we will be hearing uh, check-ins on the vehicle's trajectory and performance, as well as check-ins with some of the ground stations as it passes over uh, throughout uh, the six minutes of the second stage firing.
Dragon SpaceX trajectory nominal. Copy, nominal trajectory. Getting good views of both the first and second stage from the onboard cameras. Acquisition of signal, bus. The New Hampshire tracking station has acquired the second stage telemetry signal. Meanwhile, the first stage has reached apogee and it's now beginning to descend from uh, a height. It's currently about 167 kilometers up. And in a few minutes, we will get the entry burn of the second stage, of the first stage. Dragon SpaceX, trajectory nominal. Copy, nominal trajectory. Right on cue, those check-ins on the second stage performance. Once a minute, everything's looking good on Stage that second stage. Propulsion is nominal. Stage two continues to climb. The vehicle now exceeding 8,000 miles an hour at an altitude of about 124 miles. And just about one minute from now, we will begin the entry burn of the first stage. That'll consist of lighting the center engine, and then shortly afterwards, two more engines for a three engine burn to slow down the first stage in preparation for entering the Earth's atmosphere. Dragon SpaceX, trajectory nominal. Copy, nominal trajectory. Another check-in, the crew confirming they're hearing the same thing. The vehicle exceeding, are about to exceed about 10,000 miles per hour. Meanwhile, first stage down at 90 kilometers, getting ready to relight three engines for the entry burn. Stage two FTS has saved. We've got the center engine ignition and there come the two side engines. Now this entry burn will last about 29 seconds. It's gonna significantly slow down the vehicle in preparation for hitting the denser part of the Earth's atmosphere. Entry burn complete. We're down below 35 kilometers, continuing to look good on the first stage, heading to the Atlantic Ocean for a landing on the drone ship. Meanwhile, well, second stage is less than a minute away from cutoff. Stage two in terminal guidance. Shannon. Copy, Shannon. Shannon called out at the back end of the stage two, a few seconds until cutoff. MVAC shutdown. Dragon SpaceX launch escape system disarmed. Launch escape system disarmed. Copy. Dragon SpaceX, nominal orbit insertion. Copy, nominal orbital insertion. All right, the Falcon 9 second stage has done its job delivering our four crew into orbit. You hear the applause here in Hawthorne. We're waiting to get a video signal back from the drone ship. Of course, I still love you. And the view from the onboard camera, we saw it just briefly. It looks like first stage on the drone ship. Getting views of the Dragon trunk. 
So the first stage is on the drone ship, successfully landed, and more importantly, second stage is in a nominal orbit with the Dragon spacecraft getting ready for some important events coming up, Gary. That's right, about two more minutes, the Dragon and the second stage of the Falcon 9 will be in a coast phase. It'll take that long until the spacecraft separates from the Falcon 9. Of course, both uh, now in a nominal orbit. It's great to see some of the views of the Earth as it passes by over the North Atlantic Ocean. All right, we're getting shots of the crew in orbit. I'm looking uh, for that zero G indicator. Can't seem to see it in this shot, but we have a minute to go until we have uh, spacecraft separation. Dragon traveling at nearly 17,000 miles per hour at an altitude of 124 miles. Again, the four-person crew of Endeavour is in orbit right now. Less than 30 seconds until we have spacecraft separation. Ten seconds to spacecraft separation. We should hear words from the core here in uh, Mission Control Hawthorne once we have successful separation. Thanks for flying our first flight proven crewed Falcon 9. See you side, crew two. Thank you very much. We're great. It's glad to be back in space for all of us, and we'll uh, send our regards to crew one when we get there. Thanks. Absolutely stunning views from both inside the cabin, seeing the excitement of our four-person crew inside Endeavour, and watching Endeavour drift away from the camera on the second stage as the Earth passes by on an orbital sunrise. SpaceX Endeavour, we And Endeavour, you uh, cut out a little bit there. If the question was, uh, if you're go to open visors, you are go to open visors at this time. Copy and work, thanks. All right, 13 and a half minutes past liftoff. The crew is in orbit, traveling at nearly 17,000 miles an hour. Dragon SpaceX, you are go to begin the broadcast event. Hello, everyone. Welcome on board Endeavour. We're uh, a couple hours into the flight, making our second lap around the Earth. Right now, we're over kind of eastern. South. Hello, everyone. Welcome on board Endeavour. We're uh, a couple hours into the flight, making our second lap around the Earth. Right now, we're over kind of eastern South Africa. So uh, it's really great looking out our windows, and we get to see some pretty cool stuff up here. But we had an incredible launch. Um, hopefully, you guys got to watch it this morning. Uh, as right as the sun was rising, we took off. Uh, we chased the sun pretty quickly and caught it up uh, just a few minutes after we took off. That was pretty special to see the sunlight coming in um, shortly after liftoff. Uh, we're going to show you around the vehicle real quick. Uh, and I hope you guys really enjoy it. And I'll pass it over to our pilot, Megan MacArthur.
Hello, Earth. It's uh, great to be back in space again after a few years for me. Um, the ascent was incredible. The ride was really smooth. Uh, we couldn't have asked for anything better. Uh, there may have been some hooting and giggling up here uh, while all that was going on. We hope you enjoyed the show as well. Um, I'm, I'm kind of relearning. I'm like a baby bird here, relearning how to move around in uh, microgravity. It feels really good, but it feels a little bit weird, too. Fortunately, it's a nice small space that uh, I can relearn to move around together. I'm I'm going to hand it over to uh, Tomal, who's going to show you around a little bit of what I've got up here. Thanks, Megan. Hi, everyone. I'm, I'm uh, Toma, Mission Special Hub, your tour guide today uh, in the Crew Dragon Endeavor capsule. Thanks for flying with us. Welcome on board. Uh, our commander, Shane Kibro, welcome your pilot, Megan McCarter, also. And uh, next will be Aki Hoshide. So as you see, it's pretty roomy. The ride up was fantastic. This is the hatch behind this. Of space, harsh temperature, temperature, bad environment, bad stuff. Inside, very comfy. We feel very well protected. Everything is great. Um, if you if you get closer, you can get a view out the window, and I'll try to give you that. If the cable is long enough, and this is what we get to see. Coming up on Madagascar, but it's cloudy. I don't think you get a good view. But we'll try to get pictures, and I can show you maybe. The cargo area down there, because uh, this vehicle is bringing people up to space, but also cargo. And if you follow me, and I'm going to flip and try not to make everybody sick, <laughs> down there is where we have a little cargo. There's free, there's uh, freezers. Uh, this is our suits, nicely packed. This is some more cargo. We have our, uh, our uh, water landing equipment. And this is all nice and tidy. And behind those walls are a lot of other equipment that we need, clothes, food, and etc. So with that, uh, now that you're familiar with the capsule, I'm going to hand you over to Aki Hikohoshide, Aki for short, from JAXA, and he's going to give you some more information. Hello, Earthlings. Uh, <laughs> And it looks like we lost that live signal. As well, uh, one thing, uh, this capsule looks just like our mock-up simulator in Hawthorne, except you can't do this because we're upside down. And this is actually the hatch that goes to the uh, International Space Station. And once we dock, uh, we're going to open this hatch and get on board and uh, see our friends uh, who are up there right now. Now we have a fifth crew member, and uh, as uh, you can see, Shane is holding him right now, but he can actually fly. It's a penguin that uh, our boys uh, chose, um, and uh, his name is Gwen Gwen. Gwen Gwen, welcome Gwen Gwen to space. It was really cool seeing Gwen and Gwen uh, start flying after we hit zero G. Um, tomorrow, Aki talked about we're going to dock to the International Space Station. Uh, it's going to be around 5 a.m. Eastern time in the U.S. Hope you guys can join us for that, but it's going to be great to be on that forward port on the space station and, and join our friends there. Crew 1 is on board along with uh, Expedition 65, a couple of Russians, and Mark Van Heij. So uh, we're looking forward to joining that crew and having a, a big time up there with 11 people on board. Megan, any closing words? And I think we can just show folks kind of what our environment looks like up here, Shane. Uh, these are the displays that we use to monitor the spacecraft systems through all the different phases of flight. So we had uh, displays up, of course, during ascent, and then we'll have some uh, ability to monitor the docking sequence as well. All of the burns that will get us closer to the space station will eventually be able to see uh, different kinds of images of the space station on our screens as we get closer. And then, of course, uh, once we contact the space station will monitor uh, the docking system mechanism uh, using these displays as well. So it's pretty neat uh, to see the touch screens and uh, all the different facilities that they have. We can bring up different um, systems pages while we're working uh, through the different activities. So those are something, uh, something neat to see. Rather than the old-timey steam gauges, we have these pretty cool touch screens that we can use. 
One thing I'll add before we sign off is uh, Tama noticed a little while ago after we're getting out of our suits, uh, he looked out the window when he saw our second stage pretty much flying in formation with us just underneath us, and that was very special. So we all rushed to the window to look at that for a little while. So that was pretty cool. So uh, we're, we're enjoying our uh, first day on orbit. So we got a lot more to go, and we're looking forward to it. Hope you guys enjoyed the little tour of our capsule. And uh, we'll be in a much bigger environment tomorrow once we dock with the International Space Station. Have a great day. Take care. So long from Endeavor. Well, thank you so much for sharing those views with us and giving us a glimpse into life on board Dragon and uh, letting us meet Gwen Gwen. Thank you again. You can see on your screen as Crew Dragon slowly approaches towards that port for docking. That's right, we're 13 meters and closing, making a slow and methodical approach to the docking port. That's on the forward end of the International Space Station, that international docking adapter where Crew Dragon Endeavor has docked once before. Copy, 10 meters. And what that call out was is Crew Dragon is just 10 meters away from the International Space Station as it continues its approach for docking. Docking will uh, occur in two phases. There will, there will be a soft capture followed by a hard capture. And what that hard capture means is 12 physical hooks will connect the Dragon to the space station. Great views. Dragon just six meters away as the station and Dragon fly in tandem 263 statute miles over the South Indian Ocean in the background. Five meters. We're five meters and closing. Copy five meters. start to see the detail on Dragon there as it is closing in on docking. That's right, two and a half Hands meters, off. 30 seconds. Crew hands off point, it's called out. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop, soft capture confirmed. Happy soft capture confirmed. Great news with that call out, that soft capture is confirmed. That's right, that soft capture time, 2.08 a.m. Pacific time, 4.08 a.m. Eastern. 
Station and Dragon connected 264 statute miles over the South Indian Ocean. Endeavour connected to International Space Station for the second time. And there are still a few steps to complete before Dragon is securely attached. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop, soft capture ring retraction in progress. That's good. The ring retraction is yeah, happening. Ring retraction happening as expected. And after the ring retracts, 12 hooks will latch six at a time to perform a hard capture and will officially mate a uh, dragon to the International Space Station. Got this really awesome view of dragon as it is connected to the port currently uh, making progress on hard capture. Soft capture ring retraction does take, take some time. It is uh, continuing at its anticipated speed. Things are looking good. Again, this is the first in a series of steps to officially mate Dragon to the station. Endeavor, welcome Endeavor, aboard. Welcome you, are aboard. Go to you are go to Ingress. <laughs> Endeavor arriving. We got some confirmation that the crew is go for ingress and you can see <laughs> Aki is the first to ingress onto the International Space Station. And Gwyn Gwyn. <laughs> and Gwyn Gwyn. <laughs> Followed by Tama Pesquet from the European Space Agency. <laughs> Lots of hugs and smiles right now. Pilot uh, Megan MacArthur of Crew 2 is next, being welcomed by the Expedition 65 crew members, <laughs> and, and Shane Kimbrough bringing up the rear. The 11-person crew of Expedition 65 now together inside No. 2 of the International Space Station. <laughs> Though we can't even hear audio in there, you could really feel the excitement just by the looks on their faces, the hugs that they're giving. Now they're getting ready for this official welcome ceremony. You can see them getting into position. With let, <laughs> let the Tetris game of fitting 11 <laughs> crew members into a single frame begin. <laughs> right. Uh, 12. Gwen Gwen. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Houston, this is Station. We are ready for the event. Mr. Jersick, please call Station for a voice check.
station. This is Steve Jerzyk. How do you hear me? Steve, we have you loud and clear. Welcome to the International Space Station. Hey, man, it is awesome to see the 11 of you on station. It's incredible. Um, congratulations, uh, congratulations, crew two, on an amazing launch yesterday. Uh, coming to Kennedy Space Center and watching launches never gets old. And, um, and uh, seeing the pre-dawn launch yesterday was amazing. So congratulations. I also want to congratulate the NASA and SpaceX team for our third commercial crew mission in, in less than a year. A lot of firsts on this mission, um, including the first uh, crew handover uh, of commercial crew vehicle. And it was, it, it was, it was really cool see, during docking to see one dragon docked on the Zenith port and the other dragon coming in for, for docking. So it was, it was amazing. Um, April has been an amazing month and a really busy month for, for ISS um, with uh, Mark, uh, Pieter, and Oleg launching to ISS. Kate and her Russian colleagues coming back. Uh, crew two there and now preparing for crew one to come, come back. And I am really excited for all the research, uh, technology development um, that is going to be able to be uh, enabled on station with these regular crew rotations and having four crew up there uh, consistently. It's not only important for advancing research technology development to benefit folks in, uh, here on Earth, but also to prepare for Artemis and our uh, return to the moon and eventually uh, are preparing for human missions to Mars. So it's just an incredibly exciting time for, for ISS. Um, you know, Shane, uh, Megan, Aki, and Thomas, uh, we, we thank Tomas, we, Toma, we thank you for um, everything you do for, for the agency, uh, the country and the world. And, uh, and, and we look forward to an amazing expedition. Um, Crew One, um, you guys have had an am amazing six months. Um, Mike, uh, Victor, uh, Shannon, and Suichi, I've followed what you've done uh, to upgrade the station and all the research and technology you've been able to accomplish. And I uh, just want to congratulate you on an amazing expedition. And uh, we look forward to your return next week. Um, so again, I'm just really excited for, uh, for this new kind of new era for ISS and all that you all have and will be able to accomplish. So thank you. Thank you, Steve. It is very exciting to have Crew 2 with us today. And so I'm not going to take up any time here. I'm just going to hand it over so we can get their thoughts. Thanks, Shannon. Thanks, Steve. And um, on behalf of Crew 2, we are just so excited to be here. I'm very excited to be here. Uh, in some ways, it's been a long journey. In other ways, it's been a pretty quick uh, one-year assignment flow. So it's taken a tremendous amount of work um, from a lot of different teams to get us here. We, of course, have our excellent training team at Johnson Space Center, also an outstanding training team uh, from Hawthorne, and the entire ISS program and commercial crew program working together to get us here, of course, as, as, um, as well as along with our international partners. We're just really excited to be here and be part of this historic mission um, with the two dragons on board, first reuse of a capsule, first reuse of a booster. It's just an, a, a tremendous achievement on behalf of our, our partner SpaceX. So I want to congratulate and thank them. And uh, we're just, we're so excited to be here. We're ready to get to work. There's a lot of uh, great science um, that, that I know we're going to be, <laughs> we're going to be doing. And uh, we're just excited to learn and get started. So thank you.